train early Monday morning that claimed the life of a teenager and critically injured another. It's a very unfortunate situation. Uh, it put a lot of people at risk. 41-year-old Paul Pelton posted the apology on Facebook, the same place he had uploaded the graphic accident scene. Got a fire. Got a car fire. Video so gruesome, we can't and wouldn't air it on Fox 8 News, although Pelton tried to sell us the gruesome images. <laughs> Parts of which include Pelton opening the door, filming inside the car, as neighbors were trying to rescue the teens. Everybody was Everybody just trying to get there. The guy with the phone, I just don't understand why he did it. Pelton claims he wanted to warn other drivers, but those who were there disagree and don't buy his apology. You could show every detail of the car and what happened and give great narration on somebody else's judgments, but look at your own. Those were kids. Even veteran detectives were outraged. I was shocked. Uh, I know this is a, a media age and I know people have video cameras on their hips and in their pocket. Everybody does. Uh, this, in my opinion, crossed the line. Wednesday, as family and friends share this GoFundMe account to help with burial expenses for 17-year-old Cameron Friend and others sent well wishes on Facebook to 17-year-old Zach Gooden praying for his recovery, police charged Pelton with vehicle trespassing, the only charge they could. I don't think any more attention should be given to him, honestly. Our hearts go out to the families. Our hearts go out to the families.